Good morning. Let's take a look at some of today's top stories. Following the death of the infant at Mazingo Lake, the Maryville community wanted to memorialize his short life by holding a service for anyone to attend and pay their respects. Over 100 people from the Maryville community gathered to mourn the loss of the infant with a memorial service and prayers given for the lost life. During the service, it was revealed that the baby had been given the name Bo Mazingo, named after Mazingo Lake and the embalmer Ron Denbo's last name. The baby will be buried at the Oak Hill Cemetery despite the ongoing investigation. What prompted us to have the ceremony today was we, we needed to do something with um, the little boy's body. Um, and it was time to take it from the funeral home and, and give it a, a proper service. The community really needed that. Um, I think this will help put their minds at ease just a little bit. We gave a little bit of an update um, as far as having a person of interest and, and that, that individual does not have any ties to this community. Maryville law enforcement and officials now want to emphasize the importance of safe haven laws and are hoping to raise awareness within the Maryville community of safe places to leave newborns if a parent cannot care for them. And since 1962, the 139th Airlift Wing of the Missouri National Guard has been operating at Rosecrans Memorial Airport. And thanks to new improvements, one of the biggest employers in the city of St. Joseph will be here to stay. For years, the 139th Airlift Wing has been one of the largest employers in the city, bringing in around $200 million annually from an economic standpoint. With the military always looking to rebase and move units, it was thanks to the city and community support that Rosecrans was able to make improvements on the runway, air tower, traffic, and more. They bring a lot to the community with the Advanced Airlift Tactics Training Center. Um, they've got 18 allied partners that fly their airplanes in here for, for advanced tactics training and courses. And, and um, it's not just Air Force and, and Guard and Reserve, but it's the Marine Corps and, and, like I said, these allied partners that fly in. And they're staying in local hotels, eating at local restaurants. So it's, it's huge for the community to have the 139th out here.